Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is my crafty subscription boxes, a little show of what's inside. This is the boxes for the month of July. Um, all the boxes will have been posted out, they're posted out on the first of every month. Um, but if you haven't received your box yet and you'd like to keep it a surprise, then come back and watch this video after you've received it so you don't get any spoilers. Because I'm just going to be opening them up and showing everything which is inside. I'm going to start off with the Happy Meal subscription. I do have three subscriptions in total. I have a Happy Meal subscription, which is a few bits of different things. I'll tell you what's included every month in a second. And then over here, I've got a sequin subscription. And I also do a writing paper subscription. So in the Happy Meal subscription... Every month it's a different theme and a different paper collection is used and I always make one of these reusable packaging pouches so you can take everything out and reuse it afterwards and every month you'll get either a large embellishment or like a little pack so this one includes two and then you'll get a surprise item every month this month it is a little dangle charm and then you'll get a little sequin mix and a little pack of wire wrapped beads. So you get the four things every month. Every month I always put the little Happy Meal on the bottom because it's the Happy Meal subscription. Um, I really like that tie. And normally I do decorate on the top here. Um, but this month the packaging, the papers I've chosen are like really decorated. And I thought if I decorate over the top like it's going to ruin it a little bit like I just like the look of the papers I've left them blank this month and each month all of the subscriptions have a, like a little theme or like a colour scheme so this month for July I've done a summer theme and I've used the papers Sunny Days from Maggie Holmes and it was the first time I've used this paper pad so I loved picking out my favourite papers this is definitely one of my favourites I love it um, so I'll show you all of the different packaging and then I'll show you one inside. So I've got this stripey one. I've got this watermelon one. I love this one. This one is like sea waves. And this one is seashells and it's got some gold foil on there. I love it. And then this one is like a little beach scene. It's got some umbrellas, some deck chairs, got a bike up there. Had someone walk and the dog, I think, on the bottom. And then the last one is, I think it's like peaches. Different fruits, pink and orange. So I'll show you one inside. And they're all, all exactly the same. And I love making the packaging reusable so you don't have to throw this away. You could use it to store things in or you could use it to send someone else a happy meal. So these are the embellishments. They're in like a frosted packet. Take them out so you can properly see them. So this month I've got a shaker and just then a plain embellishment. This one is a sequin shaker lolly. And it's got that watermelon paper in the background. And then this one is a little strawberry. And I added on these little handmade flowers. I love this. This flower dye is from... Let me think. It's always when you go and see it unplanned, you forget the name. I do know the name. I can't think of the name now. I'll tag it in the description because I'll definitely find out as soon as... I'll probably remember before the end of the video, to be honest. Um, but what I did was I added some Nouveau drops, like the glittery ones, and I just like used it as a glitter glue and put it all over the, the melted bit on the lolly and on the dipped bit of the strawberry, and I love how that looks. It's my first time doing that. It's so glittery as well. It dried a bit of a darker colour than, than it was when it was first on, but it's so sparkly. I love it. 
and I just added a little puffy word sticker on all of my lollies. I hope that you can't hear my dog snoring in the background. I actually have four dogs snoring away in the background next to me today. <laughs> and so this is the embellishment pack. And then the wire wrapped beads for this month. They are these little fruity beads. I thought these were so fun. And like for the summer theme of this pack, I've got um like fruit and they're like seashells. I think they're the things that remind me of summer the most. You got all different fruits in there. There's a really wide mix of them. And then for the sequin mix, I did it as a little watermelon mix. So it's red, white and green. And then it's got some little watermelon clay pieces in there as well. And then last of all, for the surprise item, I've just done this little mini dangle charm. And it is in a seashell theme. I thought this turned out super cute. It's got a little turtle on the bottom. And it's got these little shells. And the shells feel like real shells. And then there's these shells here and even a little starfish. And that turned out so cute. And for the beads, I chose these like white, they're like clear iridescent ones and then some little blue ones because they reminded me of like little bubbles. So I hope that all of the girls who are signed up to the subscription like what I've made for this month. I always have so much fun making these, choosing what I'm going to make and then seeing it all come together. Here's how it looks, um, all packed up. And then I'm going to show you, put these ones aside and I'm going to show you the sequin mix box. So all the subscriptions come in these little pink boxes um, and they're like the right size to fit through your door if you're not in as well. And this is how the box comes packaged. For the Happy Meal subscription it always comes in the pink box and all tissue wrapped up as well. And for the sequin mix box I always put the theme on at the top of the box. And, and then I just do this little foil sticker. I love these and then inside let's see I was trying to open it carefully I haven't quite got a plan here we go so this month is summer fruits and I love how these look I love how colorful they are and each one has got some little clay fruit pieces inside so this one here is of course a lemon mix it's got the little lemon slices and it's got some different yellow sequins some gold sequins some white stars white seed beads and i think there's some clear ones in there as well some yellow flowers i love how this turned out this one is a little grape mix so it's green and purple this one's just a little bit something different not colors i usually work with but i thought i'm gonna try it out for something different and in this one there's some little glittery purple ones i love those and then we've got different sizes green sequins and then all different sizes of purples and a few different shades there's some hearts and some stars down there as well. I love how all of those turn out. And then this one is a strawberry mix. And it's red, white and gold. And I added some little white flowers in there as well. There's some different shaped red ones. The gold embossed ones. And the little strawberries. I love the strawberries. 
because it's like a, it's like the center of a strawberry. I thought that was really cute. And then this one is an orange mix, and I've done orange, white, and rose gold, something a little bit different. It's got some like light orange, some burnt orange, some white stars, rose gold stars, or white circles. There's some glittery ones down there. And then last but not least is this pink grapefruit. So it's got all the grapefruit pieces and then it's got some white and different shades of pinks. So I've got like the neon pink, the cerise pink, and then like some muted tones. I love this one. I think this one might be my favourite because I love Kraskam and Pink. And I hope everyone really likes them. And what I'll do is I'll leave the information to the subscription boxes in the description box. So you can find out a little bit more information if you're interested. And what I do is just normally at the beginning of the month, um, if I've got availability, I will open up some extra spaces. Um, if you're interested in joining and there's not any spaces available, you can send me a message on Instagram or I'll put my, my email address there as well. Um, and if you just let me know that you're interested and I can let you know if I would have space to open up a new space or if not I can let you know when I do have availability so you can get the first chance to join and thank you so much to everyone who does join and supports this little crafty venture I just have so much fun with it and thank you so very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one bye for now